Georgia Southern Athletics here with head coach Charlton C.Y. Young. The Eagle men's basketball team, fresh off a three-game homestand, will be headed on the road for three games, the first two this weekend in North Carolina. The Eagles will start with Appalachian State, and coach, you've got to get, get these two games back on the road. Tell us a little bit about your plan for getting these wins. Well, we're excited about going on the road. You know, I, I love road games because it's like off being off uh, at a boot camp where you can really get the kids locked in less distractions. Um, we got to steal uh, two games on the road. I mean, that's bottom line. We uh, Early in November, we, we dropped the Elon game and we dropped the Citadel game. And now we got to go on the road and steal those two back. So uh, last week, two out of three, two out of three ain't bad. Uh, and this week, our goal is to get a better and, and go for two for two. Uh, we feel like we should never, ever lose in Hannah. Uh, but if you drop a couple in Hannah, you got no other choice, but you got to go rectify it. And, and that's our plan, to go rectify it. Coach, you did have some fantastic wins this week over Davidson for the first time in 12 tries. Big win over Charleston. And then a tussle, as we talk about, a tussle with Citadel, which seems to sometimes put us in that mode where we're always in a very physical, slowed down tempo kind of game. What are the things you've worked on with your team in terms of film and, and practice to, to get their energy back? Biggest thing is rest. We gave our guys two days off. Um, Four games in eight days, uh, three games in five days. Uh, two very uh, emotionally, uh, emotional and and uh, physically draining games in Davis and Charleston. I think we gave it all we had to, to, to put ourselves in position to win those games. Uh, Citadel, Credit Citadel, had a great game plan. Uh, very physical team, which is a weakness of ours. Uh, they were desperate for a win. Um, and they pulled it off. They made some shots, and when you make shots, that gives you energy. Um, so the combination of both, uh, of them playing really well, uh, being very physical, and us being a, a little drained from battling the two best teams in the conference, uh, we, we, we let one get away. So we're, we're working. Uh, we took two days off to get rested, uh, worked on a lot more zone stuff, um, you know, make sure we're uh, staying tight and our DNA is staying tight. Uh, because when you play so many games, you lose practice time, and that hurts you also. So um, it was good to have a couple days of practice to, to tighten up the nuts and bolts of our, our basketball team. Speaking of becoming one of the best teams in the conference, which I know is the goal, and the Eagles are almost in the same position they were a year ago when they made their run. Actually, a little better. We're a little better yeah. than we were last year, about at the same spot. And this is really your time, as you said, working in that second part of the season. You feel like the chemistry and all the things that you've been working on these past six weeks is finally coming together? I do. Very excited about our two point guards. Uh, bless their hearts, they had to learn a new system. Both of them, it was their third system because they were transfers. Uh, it takes time uh, to learn a new system and run it and everybody to jail. Uh, I think all the guys are getting used to playing with them. We're playing together. We're, we're much more of a team. Uh, so we're, we're moving in the right direction. I'm, I'm very proud of these young men. They're history makers. Uh, what they've accomplished so far uh, is, is really, really good. Um, first ACC win uh, in the history of our university. Uh, they got to be commended for that. Uh, an exciting comeback victory over our rival, Georgia State. Uh, they they got to be commended for that. Um, to knock off Davidson and Charleston in the first year, uh, they got to be commended for that. Uh, we've had some great, great wins. Now, obviously, the key word for us is consistency, and we got to become more consistent. Uh, but to perform the way we have early uh, is really good, and I'm hoping and I, and I feel good about us making the same type run down the stretch to put us at the top of the conference. Uh, last year we won 8 out of 9 or 9 out of 10 uh, to finish second in the league. Uh, Davidson had 16 wins. We had 12 wins. Uh, we feel like this league is wide open, uh, and we definitely send a message to the rest of the Southern Conference that we're one of the teams that can win this whole deal with the way we performed versus Davidson and Charleston. So uh, two out of three last week is not bad. Uh, disappointed about losing at Hannah. Should never lose at Hannah. We're going to try to get a step better this week uh, and go two for two. Well, we know you'll be away from Hannah for this weekend. Have some time back before going to Furman. But tell us a little bit more with these scouts, even the coaches are having to do and get their team prepared. Did the extra few days help you as a coaching staff as well? Uh, no question, uh, you know, because it gives you a chance to get sharp and sharpen your blade again. Uh, you know, with the games coming so quick, you just don't have a lot of preparation time. And it was a big concern with Citadel, just a one-day prep. 
uh, after the two uh, big time games that we had uh, before them. And uh, again, credit Citadel and Coach Grizel. Congratulations to them on getting their first Southern Conference win. They came in here and played their tails off, and they deserved it. Well, Coach, we know that there's still a lot of basketball to be played at the end of this month and all through the month of February. We wish you the best of luck on this road trip. Thank you very much.